This is the one thing that I wish had been explained in a tutorial. Since the key was on the left side, if we detonate the key now, then it safely completes the chain. And it was like infinitely easier. I've been really getting into Puyo Puyo and, well, I say Puyo Puyo Tetris, but really all I do is I play Puyo Puyo only. <laughs> it's like playing two separate fighting games. I, I just don't have time to learn all the ins and outs of Tetris right now. I, I, I like playing Tetris and I like doing T-spins and all that. But what I really want to do today is focus more on the, the Puyo Puyo side. So anyone who's never played this game before, this is Puyo Puyo Tetris. Puyo Puyo Tetris. It's like a fighting game. It gets kind of frustrating when you can only do like a two hit combo or a three hit combo and you're like, I know there's more to this game and I just need to, f I need to dig into it. It gets frustrating knowing that people do cool combos and like that's the whole thing about this game. But if you've never, if you've never like looked into getting better at this game, this is what, this is what normally happens. You, you put down a bunch of these, these Puyo, right? And you're kind of like, okay, I understand vaguely that I don't want to put these reds together. So here's what I'll do. I'll put I'll put these reds, I'll put these reds like this, and then I'll make a chain so that when the blue ones disappear, then the red ones make a chain. And you're like, "Yes, I'm a genius." But the next stage after that is making a chain of like like a, a, a much longer chain, right? Like the first thing you like the, what the game will try to teach you how to do is how to set up stairs, right? But it's, it's actually really tricky, it's actually really tricky getting it to actually work. So that, for example, I want to have three reds, three blues, three greens, and then in order to get them to disappear, this is what's frustrating about this game. The, the, the first thing they do is say, make a staircase, but stuff always gets in the way. Here's what, okay, we finally got it, okay. So I made the staircase. So the, pro the problem is that now I'm like a mile away from where I need to be. Oh no, <laughs> this is going horrifically wrong. I'm just gonna start again. The main thing is that when you're playing this game, garbage Puyo will fall on top of you. And that's when it gets frustrating. Because you're like, I'm trying to make a combo, but in the middle of making a combo, your opponent will, will get in your way. So I feel like that's, after learning how to do combos, the next stage is learning how to make your combos work, even if someone gets in your way. Yeah, exactly, making combos while managing garbage, garbage Puyo. The Puyo Puyo Tetris 2 comes out in six days, huh? That's exciting. I don't know if I'll buy it full price though. I don't, I don't, I haven't really completed, I haven't really completed Puyo Puyo Tetris 1. So I don't really see much need to buy Puyo Puyo Tetris 2 yet. Although there are some m changes in the game modes, I feel like the bigger changes are things like story mode, right? So I'll put these greens here. And if I can make those purples disappear, I get a staircase, right? You can see there's red, green, blue, yellow, purple. And when this purple one disappears, you got a staircase. But the problem with this is that you get one, two, three, four, five. You get a five chain because that's basically the limit if you don't know how to curl back on yourself. Because normally what you would do, you would build up a chain like this across the first half the screen and then you would come back on yourself from right from the right side to the left side and you'd build up more more combos and more combos on top of that so let me show you what i did which was incorrect i was trying to build up combo combos from the left side and then build upwards on the right side so i'll just show you how that let me show you what happens when you when you try to do that Here's what I used to do. I used to build a staircase like this. So from left side, red, green, blue, purple, green. And then in order to not have the chain start yet, I would build upwards from there. I would do this, for example. I would build blues up like this. Oh God, I've ruined it. Help, help. Oh no, I don't have a green block. Okay, now it's not gonna work. What I found until I started looking up strategies, I found that I would have a really nice chain in place and then it would I would screw up the end of it so that I couldn't actually what's the word start the chain I couldn't actually get the chain going and it turns out the main thing that I've been doing wrong is I've been doing it backwards what people usually do like they say they've got a chain and the key and as long as you can de detonate the key you start the chain I would always do the chain and then I would put the key at the end but what everyone else has been doing is they've been putting the key 
and then building the chain after it, so that no matter what, the key always stays open and accessible. So apparently the key to making this work, no pun intended, is to use this thing called GTR. Right? If you do GTR, then the key is already built so that it's accessible from above. Yeah, and I think GTR stands for the, the name of someone, maybe the name of the person who invented it? Stands for Great Tanaka Rensa, and Rensa is just the Japanese word for combo. Everyone else, it seems, on the internet has been doing it backwards. They've been creating the key, setting it on the left side of the screen, and then they're building the chain after that. That way, even if you screw it up, at least the key is open and accessible. It all depends on how you place the first few blocks. If you can like master this one little thing, then you could instantly get like combos of seven and higher. We've got GTR. So this is GTR. And then on top of that, let's make a chain. Okay, I think this this should work. So like we can we can activate we can we can galvanize now. That's not really the word I'm looking for. Since the key was on the left side, if we detonate the key now, then it safely completes the chain. And it was like infinitely easier than all the stuff I was doing at the start of the stream because the key is built first. But no one explains it like that. This is the one thing that I wish had been explained in a tutorial, but it was not explained in any tutorial. People say like, oh, GTR is a useful thing to learn, or stairs is an important thing to learn. But it's a lot like fighting games. People are like, learn your bread and butters, learn your anti-airs. But no one actually teaches you the important skill that you need to know in fighting games, which is learn to adapt to what your opponent is doing. And it doesn't have to be it doesn't have to be deep, but a lot of people just say, learn how to anti-air and you'll get to gold. It's like it's not that simple. What you really need to do is learn to adapt. Is your opponent jumping jumping a lot? Okay, do anti-airs. Now that you've done your anti-air, they're, they're gonna stop jumping, and now they're gonna come at you and play the, the footsies on the neutral game. Now you need to adapt. You need to start buffering or whiff punishing or doing the things that are important on the ground game. But, but no one explains it like that. All they do is try to simplify it to the point that it's not even helpful anymore. They're being promised that the game is very simple, but the game isn't simple. So just explain it clearly and be honest about the fact that the game is, is quite complex. And I think that's what happens with Puyo Puyo. People are like, Puyo Puyo, all you do is uh, you, learn, you learn the staircase, the combo, get rid of garbage, and then your next stop, 14 hit combo. It's like, that's... It's just not how it that's just not how it works. But if someone if I had seen one tutorial that said the whole point of GTR is that you don't bury the key at the end. And the re the way it the reason it works is because you build the key first. It's like Was that really so hard to explain? Let's see if I can actually let's see if I can actually do it now. I'm having a much better round here. Oh, that's the wrong- that's not what I wanted! Oh, no! Okay, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Whew. Okay, got me really nervous there. I thought I'd really screwed that up. This game is so hard, you can say that again. I spent the longest time thinking like, why? Why can't I get more than a four chain in this game? Am I stupid? It's like, I don't think I am stupid. Now that, I, now that I've figured out GTR by myself, I'm like, I've seen a number of people who've made some excellent tutorials. They're very well organized, well edited, well narrated. They missed the most important point. I learned GTR from a Japanese tutorial because uh, I just couldn't find any English tutorials that would actually explain to me what I needed to know. And then in the end, understanding why GTR is so strong only came from playing for two hours and trying to figure out what was what's so great about GTR. I was like, what the heck is so important about this strategy? Oh, it's the key. It's leaving the key open at the start. I ruined it. Oh, let's just blow it up. Whatever. Four. Five. Six. Oh, I, 
I didn't even get a seven chain that time. It's hard, man. This game's hard. We're playing on we're playing on pad. I considered playing on stick, but this is the sort of game that I want to sit in front of my TV and play. I'm quite down with playing playing this game on a in a more casual, chilled out chilled out mode. If you're not already subscribed to the YouTube channel, then here is a link. If you're not on Discord, come and hang out there. And if you're not already following me on Twitter, do give me a follow. We're almost almost at 9,000. I think we're at 806. 8,666 followers on Twitter, so close, but not quite there. That's all for today. I will see you on the next Nihongo Gamer video and or stream. See you all next time. Bye.